Am I surprised? Absolutely, but uh, pleasantly surprised. It's surprising that it has come up. Constitutional carry, a bill that would allow Texans to legally carry a handgun without needing a license or permit, has landed on the governor's desk after being approved through the legislative session. The governor has stated twice he would sign it if it made it this far. Guns save lives. There are numerous cases where a good guy with a gun, and that's become kind of a saying that they use to mock us, but it's true, there are good people with guns that dispel crime. Andy Hogue with the Travis County GOP says this was a long time in the making because constitutional carry has reappeared at every single legislative session for the past decade with no luck. But now, if Governor Greg Abbott signs the bill, it will become law, making Texas the 21st state to have constitutional carry. And we found out that law-abiding citizens can be trusted to handle guns, and bad guys are still going to get the guns that they don't need uh, through other means. However, not everyone wants this. According to a poll Fox 7 posted earlier this month, 51 percent voted no to constitutional carry. At Espinosa with Progress Texas says the Texas leaders are ignoring what the majority of people want. This comes a year or two after major shootings where the governor went around the state and said that he was committed to doing things to reduce gun violence. And with his intent to sign this law, it is, it is flying in the face of all that to everybody who has lost someone in some sort of a shooting in the past few years. And with gun violence on the rise, Espinosa hopes the governor changes his mind and rejects constitutional carry. They're saying it's going to bring gun violence down. The only way we're going to find out is by gun violence increasing in accordance with it. And that's just not a gamble that I or a majority of Texans are willing to take. Now, if the governor does sign this bill, it will go into effect September 1st of this year. Reporting at the Capitol, Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.